चैप्टर एट बिरबल कुक्स खिचड़ी वंस एम्प्र अकबर एंड इज मिनिस्टर बिरबल व वॉकिंग अलॉन्ग द लेक साइड वेन बिरबल सेट दैट अ मैन कुड डू एनी थिंग फॉर मनी इफ नीड इट बी अकबर क्लेम दैट इट वॉज इम्पॉसिबल फॉर अ मैन टू स्पेंड द एंटायर नाइट इन द आईसी वॉटर ऑफ द लेक जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ मनी एम्प्र ऑल्सो प्रोमिस द रिवॉर्ड ऑफ वन थाउजेंड गोल्ड कॉइन्स टू द पर्सन हु कुड डू दैट Birbal found a poor man whose family was starving. The poor man stayed in the icy waters of the lake under the vigilance of the royal guards. The next morning, when Akbar learned about poor man's adventure, bewildered, he asked him how he had managed to do so. I could see a faint light glowing far away, and I diverted my attention from the chill of the water and focused on the warmth of the light. You old scoundrel! How dare you cheat on the deal? You took warmth from the light to survive the chill. Therefore, you will not receive a penny. The helpless and disappointed poor man told the whole story to Birbal. Birbal promised to help him. The next day, Birbal sent a message to the court that he would come only after cooking his khichdi. The other courtiers, who were not very fond of Birbal, laughed at his excuse. Akbar waited for hours, but when Birbal did not show up as evening approached, the irritated emperor himself went to Birbal's house to find out what he was up to. Oh, wise minister of mine, what foolishness is this? How will a pot full of khichdi get cooked with such a tiny fire five feet below? Hmm? The heat of the fire would never reach the pot. Oh great emperor of Hindustan you are right but i firmly believe that if it is possible for a person to receive warmth from a feeble light miles away then it is also possible for this khichdi to get cooked by this tiny fire just 5 feet away akbar at once realized his mistake oh wise birbal hmm now i see the reason Next day Akbar in front of Birbal and all the other courtiers apologized to the poor man for doubting his honesty and rewarded him with not one but 2000 gold coins the poor man with teary eyes blessed both the emperor and his favorite wise minister